Hello and welcome back to F1 Sparks and in today's video we'll be taking a look at one of the most important parts of a Formula 1 car, tyres. The history of tyres in F1 is a long story but we could be set for the next chapter as two big companies are bidding for F1 supremacy. Why do tyres matter? It may sound obvious but tyres are one of the most important factors in F1 performance. While most of us use the same set of tyres for years on our road cars, F1 cars burn through their rubber at an alarming rate, meaning that they can use anywhere between 8 to 12 tyres during a two-hour race. The current supplier of F1 tyres is the Italian company Pirelli, and they have had exclusive rights to make the tyres since 2011, and their job is to create a tyre that is quick but also durable. There is also plenty of tragedy when it comes to tyre choice. At each Grand Prix, Pirelli will issue three different dry weather tyres as well as the intermediate and wet weather tyres for when the heavens open. The dry tyres are either branded soft, medium or hard and each have a different purpose. As you can guess, the soft is the least durable of the three tyres but crucially the quickest. These tyres are identified with a red circle and during a qualifying session you'll see every team stick these on the car in the hope of getting their quickest lap in. The hard, which has a white circle, is a much more durable tyre, meaning it will last for more laps but is slower, with Pirelli estimating that a hard tyre is anywhere up to two seconds slower than its soft counterpart. The medium, meanwhile, is in between the two, both in terms of durability and speed. This means that teams face a strategy conundrum as to what tyres to use and when during a race and a lot of it will be based on the track itself. Circuits in hotter countries tend to be warmer and therefore will degrade the tyre much quicker, meaning teams will most likely go for a two-stop approach. Whereas in colder climates, teams are able to get away with just the single stop, saving themselves around 20 seconds in stopping time. FIA rules dictate that all teams must stop at least once during a race and use two different compounds. The history of F1 tyres You may think F1's relationship with tyres has been simple, but it is far from it. While Formula 1 currently has just one supplier, that has not always been the case and there have been some seasons where the sport has had six different suppliers in a single year. The most used tyre company in F1 history is American outfit Goodyear, whose tyres were used in 494 starts from 1964 to 1998. But Pirelli are catching them up and as of the 2023 Austrian Grand Prix, their tyres had been on 448 cars at the starting line. For any long-term F1 fan, the term tyre war will be a familiar one and dates back to 1997 when Japanese company Bridgestone joined Goodyear in supplying tyres to F1 competitors. Goodyear would leave two years later, making Bridgestone as the sole tyre provider. But in 2001, another name was on the block in Michelin. The next few years would see the most even split in terms of teams going with the two suppliers and neither could get a true stranglehold on the competition. The most infamous moment in that rivalry came in the 2005 United States Grand Prix when spectators saw just six drivers taking part. What? What the f The reason for this farce was during practice at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The Michelin tyre was found to be unable to cope with the unique high-speed banked Turn 13 and resulted in a number of crashes. F1 teams who used the Michelin tyre refused to race until a solution was found, but Bridgestone, whose tyres had stood up to the punishment of that corner, denied any request to alter the regulations. As a result, the only drivers to race on Sunday were the ones with Bridgestone tyres. Keen to avoid an embarrassment like this again, F1 bosses decided to give exclusive rights to a single supplier and that battle was won by Pirelli, who took control in 2011. A returning name coming back to challenge? That has been the status quo for 12 years, but things could be about to change with Formula One opening up the tender process to become F1 tyre supplier. In the past, Pirelli have been the sole applicant, but now a recognisable brand is back for another go. Bridgestone. 
Given the huge rise in F1 popularity and the money involved, it's no surprise to see the Bridgestone brand attempt to get back into the sport, but the question now is, will they be successful? Right now, we know little about the process other than that the two companies have submitted their official bid to become the supplier. If they win the contract, they will be the supplier from 2025 to 2027 with an option for an additional year and motorsport director for Pirelli, Mario Isola, is determined to make sure his company stays on top. He said, I think drivers should be the stars. The competition is stronger. All the teams are packed. A lot of the time, from first to P15, they are within one second. That means the teams are really looking for any performance advantage. If you have the same tyre and you learn to use it in a better way, you get an advantage. That's why teams have engineers dedicated to how the tyres work. We're a part of the show and I believe we are a partner, not just a tyre supplier. We have the appetite to continue. But a BBC Sport Insider said Bridgestone believed they can pull off the coup. A report said Insiders say Bridgestone has pledged as part of its bid that it can produce a tyre on which drivers can push harder for longer. A leading driver told BBC Sport that the two multiple champions have been vocal within the driver group in expressing their approval of the way Bridgestone tyres behaved when the company was last in F1, especially for the way they could drive flat out throughout Grand Prix without fear of the tyres overheating. And this is where we come to the most important part of this agreement, and that is that more is being asked than ever before of the suppliers. For a start, teams want tyres that last longer. In 2023, constructors like Ferrari and Haas have had a real issue with tyre degradation and want changes. But from a fan perspective, they prefer tyres which degrade quickly as it tends to lead to more exciting races. But what the Formula One bosses are most concerned with is sustainability. The sport is on a real push to bring down its carbon footprint and they believe there is potential for that in how tyres are made. Prospective bidders have been asked to demonstrate how they will reduce their emissions while creating the same product, which brings us on to another key element of F1's tyre futures. Tyre blankets. Pirelli's war is not just with Bridgestone, but with the drivers themselves and it concerns the use of tyre blankets. If you've ever seen a car in the pits getting ready to go out, you will have spotted engineers sitting close to the wheel and covering them in a blanket. What these are, are electronically heated tyre blankets which keep the rubber hot, meaning that when drivers head out onto the track, they have better performance. If a driver was to head out with cold tyres, they would find it much harder to stick to the road and therefore would have to go slower in order to stay on track. But F1 wants to ban these in order to be more sustainable. Each blanket is heated to 50 degrees Celsius, which if you consider there are four wheels on a car and 20 cars, that adds up to a lot of energy. F1 is aiming to ban it from 2024 with a final vote to be held in Silverstone. But the drivers are not fans. McLaren's Lando Norris said, It's an unsafe thing rather than it just doesn't feel as nice to drive. No driver wants it, basically. And Lewis Hamilton has also joined in the criticism. Therefore, F1 is at a crossroads. Do they stick to their guns and get rid of the tyre blankets, or do they keep the drivers happy and allow them still to be used? Right now, it's anyone's guess which way they will go. Thanks for watching today's video and make sure you leave a like and also tell us in the comments what you think the future of F1 tyres is. In the meantime, make sure you're subscribed so you never miss a release here on F1 Sparks.